Good morning, everybody, and happy, happy new year. Lots of good health, a better cola, <laughs> and just all good wishes and blessings uh, on the new year. I'm here today, first of all, to express my thanks uh, to so many people and also to make a very wonderful announcement that I think uh, you'll be glad uh, to hear. Um, first of all, Administrator uh, Colvin, thank you for those accolades. Yes, I was honored when the President uh, made uh, the announcement that I would get the Medal of Freedom. Uh, and then when the Sun paper named me the Marylander of the Year, I said better to be the Maryland Marylander of the Year than a person of interest. <laughs> But when you hear these accolades about the length of service, it's not how long you serve, but it's how well you serve that I think is the measure of those of us who have the honor of being in public office. And you need to know that behind a me is a whole lot of we that have made whatever contributions I've had possible. The we of the people who elected me, for which I'm very grateful. The we of my own staff that worked so hard to do the many accomplishments that we're so proud of or the constituent service that we offer. And then also, we who were my pals, who were fellow champions for both our democracy and then for the programs that it offers. So today, I also want to thank the, the we's and thank, first of all, you, the people who work here at Social Security in behalf of the American people I want to thank you for what you do every single day and every single way that the earned benefit that they work so hard for is given to them. And we want to say thank you for whatever job you do. You are important to this incredible enterprise that we call the Social Security Administration, and we want to salute you today. Other champions, of course, are Carolyn Colvin. I knew Carolyn when we worked for William Donald Shaper. Well, she did. I was in the Baltimore City Council. I was an upstart. She was a new start. Uh, and we were essentially Shaferized. <laughs> and County Executive uh, Kamenitz, what that meant was Schaefer would always say, do it and do it now. He also said, do it the right way. And Carolyn, you've been doing it that way, and you've been on Capitol Hill, and you've been intrepid in your presence here, advocating for the reliability of the trust fund, and also for the men and women who work here. And then there's, of course, Cynthia Ennis, representing all of the AFCHE employees, who herself, a powerful voice, and a powerful force to really be able to communicate the needs of the workers so that they can do the job and perform the mission that they were signed up to. We are so proud of those two women here at Social Security, and they are your champions. And then in the federal delegation, I couldn't have better pals and partners than Senator Ben Cardin and Congressman Elijah Cummings. Congressman Cummings wanted to be here today. He, his family had a medical emergency with his mom, and he sends his regards, his respect, and his commitment. Senator Cardin also, who was very strong partner in what we're about to talk to in a few minutes, also in another part of our community, sends his regards and his very able aide, Jerome, uh, the ever visible Jerome is here. So you have to know it's whatever I'm going to talk about today is because of this triangle that really were fighters Senator Cardin, Congressman Cummings, and the role that I played. But also, we turn to Annapolis. You know, when we look at what we need to do, we have to look at who championed this area. And there's been such a great advocate for the west side of Baltimore County, our own beloved Senator Dolores Kelly uh, herself, a fantastic champion for Social Security, for CMS, for the Social Security Corridor, for all of the men and women who work in this area, an incredible voice. And now she's been 
also joined by State Senator Shirley Nathan Pulliam, who also, they are a dynamic duo in Annapolis. If you think I'm a hot ticket in Washington, you ought to see these gals tear them up. Uh, 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 over there. And then somebody who really has been an advocate for the Social Security Administration being here in Woodlawn and a commitment to doing economic development in the Woodlawn area for the men and women who live here, who worship here, who work here, who go to school here, who shop here, has been Kevin Kamenetz, an outstanding county executive, outstanding. Whether it's been his championship for school construction, his advocacy for the red line, and also to be sure that the people here in this community are well served for what they deserve. So these are the champions, and I said that it's not today about a me, but a whole lot of we. And what I'm here to announce is this. I have some very good news for you. Yes, uh, Administrator Colvin uh, talked about what we were able to do in the budget how we're going to tackle the backlog, how we're going to make certain other improvements in the delivery of Social Security. But what I also want to talk about today is what we want to do for you. Yes, we want to express our respect and our gratitude, but we also know respect and gratitude without resources needs a lot more punch and a lot more oomph. And I've toured this building, I've talked to Carolyn, I've listened to Cynthia <laughs> a lot about what a decrepit state of affairs this building is in. So I'm proud to announce that in this year's appropriations, we have $150 million to completely renovate the Altmeyer building. We here as Team Social Security and Team Woodlawn are, want to say loudly, clearly, and irreversibly that Social Security is here to say. The Social Security Trust Fund is here to stay and will make it viable and undeniable. But also, the Social Security headquarters will be in Woodlawn. It's here in Woodlawn. It'll stay in Woodlawn today. It'll stay in Woodlawn tomorrow. It will stay in Woodlawn forever. Social Security is here to stay. And it belongs here. Now this building was, we, we love Social Security. And we love the fact that when it was invented uh, and passed by Franklin Delano Roosevelt and passed by the Congress of the United States, even those were grouchy even then about, about it, and then it came to downtown Baltimore on the outer banks of Little Italy. One of the reasons was Congress, a young congressman by the name of Tommy D. Alessandro, the father of Nancy Pelosi, helped bring it to Baltimore, helped it and bring it to Baltimore, and I can tell you this year, as I work so hard with my team, Maryland, for Social Security, Nancy Pelosi worked with me to help keep it in the Baltimore metropolitan area. <laughs> but you outgrew, just as Social Security grew and you moved to Baltimore County, this wonderful campus here in 1959, the Altmeyer Building went up. It was the state of the art in those days. But you and I know that the Altmeyer Building right this minute is a dump. <laughs> and it borders in certain places even on a Superfund site. Okay, we won't go into unmentionable rooms, but we know that it's been lead paint. We know that it's asbestos. We know that if the electrical circuits are out of date, this place was built when we had rotary funds, ro rotary fo phones, remember rotary phones? <laughs> remember typewriters and carbon paper? <laughs> remember key punches? Okay, 
But over the years, the building has lost its punch. And we want to be sure we're very concerned, first of all, about your health, about your safety, and also a modern ins social insurance company, which you are, deserves to be in a facility where you can do your job, where we can bring in the technology that makes your job more efficient and helps you be more effective, and we're going to do that. $150 million in the federal checkbook that will cover the entire cost of this building. No promises like, well, we'll do planning, we'll do design, and then we'll see where it goes from here. Social Security isn't going anywhere, this building isn't going anywhere, but we're sure going to get GSA off of their <laughs> slide rules or whatever the heck they use and do it. So we work very hard as Team Maryland to do this because we believe in the three R's for you. Respect and gratitude, having the right resources that you need to do the job, and also any reform we need to do that needs to be targeted. But right now, we are here today to announce this building, over 55 years old, that requires major health and safety issues just to meet the standards so that you have the right facilities so you can do the right job. So let me wrap up by saying I'm very proud of you. I'm very, very proud of you. And no matter what I do, I will never forget you. I'll never forget AFCHI, one of the, fir the first of two unions to endorse me. I will never forget the men and women who work here. Helen Keller said, all that you deeply love, you never lose. And all that you meet becomes a part of you. Social Security and the men and women who work here and in the field offices have become a part of me. I'm so proud of the trillion dollar benefits you administer to 69 Americans, 69 million Americans. I know that you process close to 55 million retirement applications, that you'll process close to 3 million disability applications, and that 43 million people will be helped in the field offices this year. And whether you call the 800 number, or whether you come into a field office, or whether you rely on the actuaries or all the support services and all the other people that make Social Security what it is. There are many things that make America great, but the fact that we have a safety net where Social Security eliminated poverty and old age and does provide a safety net for its people, we wanted to be sure that for the men and women in Social Security, you get what you need to do the job for them for what they need. So I'll never forget you. I will always be working for you, and I'm so grateful that I'll be getting my Social Security check. <laughs> so, God bless you, and may the force be with you.